Suppose if you want to send 10,000 USD in euros, your recipient should get 9,040 euros according to today's conversion rate. But if you send this via PayPal, he will receive only 8,605 euros because of their unfair exchange rate and also transfer fee. That is 448 euros loss. But in case of Wise, he receives 8,996 euros. That is only 57 euros loss due to their mid-market exchange price and also fairly low transfer fee. In this tutorial, I will be explaining you on how you can make use of Wise that was formerly TransferWise for sending money to other countries with low fees coming up. If you are a first time user of WISE, feel free to make use of my referral link. With this, it will not cost you any extra money, but you will be able to uh, save transfer fees on up to around 500 USD transfers. Again, refer the description below. The main reason why you need to make use of TransferWise over other solutions like PayPal is the currency conversion rates and also low transfer fees. If you have high volume transactions, you can easily save hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a monthly basis. But the question is how TransferWise manages to offer their service at such a low transfer fee. It's because they're wise. They have their own bank account in over 50 countries worldwide, local bank accounts. So they don't have to convert currency and also transfer money. Suppose if you're living in US and sending out money to someone in UK, the money that you send will not cross the borders. As long as TransferWise has enough funds in their local UK bank account, they can just transfer the funds. Like the cheap transfers are possible as your money will not be crossing the borders. Another big advantage is suppose if you're dealing with freelancers from countries like Bangladesh, Pakistan, Iran, Iraq, where PayPal is not supported, then you can easily send out funds to them with low transfer fees. Along with that, if you are a resident of multiple countries, you have multi-currency account support and also wise debit card for you to save a lot of money uh, when it comes to exchange fees and transfer fees. And overall, I liked the Vice UI and UX a lot than that of PayPal. It's very minimal and intuitive. To get started with Vice, first you need to sign up. If you are a first time user, then make use of my referral link. So once you click on that link, it goes to a page where it says, Akshay has given you a fee free transfer of up to 500 GBP or any other currency that you're dealing. And here you just need to select the account type, personal or business, enter your email address, create a password and also select your country of registration and claim your fee free transfer. And that's it. Your account will be created. Once you first log into TransferWise, you can see the UI and UX is really neat and very much clutter free compared to that of PayPal. So here you have the home, you have the cards where you can manage the wise debit cards in case if you have access to them. And here you will have all the recipients that you have previously sent out money and you have manage section where you can manage your account. And here you just need to click on this big green button, send money when you want to send money. So here thousand USD, right? So I'd like to send thousand USD to a recipient in India. So I can select a payment method here. Either I can select the payment method here or at the uh, last stage of this payment process. So most of the times you will be making use of bank debit ACH. And uh, here you will be able to see the exchange rate, the historical graph that's very transparent about them. And here you can as well, if you have a currency account in WISE with some balance, you can set a scheduled or recurring transfer. So for now, let me continue with these settings. And now, as I have some Indian based recipients here, I can select any of the recipient. But in your case, you need to select any one of these options. If you're sending out to your own bank account in some different countries, suppose if you have bank accounts in different countries, you can select myself as an option or else you can just click someone else. And now you just need to enter in the email address of the recipient and enter in the bank details. Based on the country of the recipient, these options will change because in 
India, not only we have bank account, we also have UPI payment methodology like unified payment interface. Right. So here you just need to enter in the uh, local bank account details, the full name of the account holder, IFSC code that's also called as routing number or in case of UK you need to enter IBAN number and here you just need to enter in the account number to which the funds need to be transferred and also the recipient details. And once you are done with this, you can just hit confirm and proceed. Now as I already have a recipient here, I can just select this. And here, what's the reason for your transfer? You just need to select any of these options. So most of the times, I guess you will be um, selecting other personal expenses, like if you're paying out for a freelancer or for some software developer, like I guess the nearest option would be uh, other personal expenses and submit. Because in this case, this is not a business account that I'm dealing with, this is a personal account. So there are limited options for me here and here transfer details recipient details and schedule details and i can just type in the reference for john so i'm making a payment for john uh, due to uh, for his freelance work right and i can just accept the terms and just review the details john gets this inr that's fairly good and also the payment should arrive in two hours and let me confirm and continue and here I need to select what's this transfer for to prevent, to protect myself from scams. So I can just select paying, paying for goods and services that is a freelance service and let me continue to payment. And here there are various ways by which I can issue this payment. Connect your bank account, wire transfer, debit card, credit card, international wire. So like in case if you want to uh, pay out the funds immediately you can select debit or credit card and just make the card payment like you do with any other online uh, payment gateways but in this case let me in most of the cases you will be going with connect your bank account or wire transfer that i will be explaining so connect your bank account let me continue to payment and here you need to verify your bank account with WISE. You have two options, instant verification or manual verification. So if you proceed with uh, instant verification, it will ask for your bank account and through its integrations with Playit, uh, you just need to enter in your bank account credentials and programmatically your bank account will be verified by WISE. Right? You just need to continue and solve the capture and just enter in your bank details. on bank's own website. In case if you're not able to see your bank account listed under their played integrations, you can just go back and just continue the payment and go with the manual route. So here, manual verification. So here you just need to enter in your routing number, the account number, and after that, WISE will be sending some small, uh, two small deposits to your bank account. And after one to three business dates, you need to enter in the uh, money that you have received from WISE and thereby it will be able to verify that the bank account that you have entered here is indeed your bank account and you will be able to continue with your transfer. But for me, rather than going with manual verification route, for most of the people rather than going with the manual verification route, you would be better off with wire transfer paying some three USD in additional fee so you just need to continue the payment and here it's saying wise won't take money from your bank automatically in this case so i understand and here i just need to select the bank say citibank right yes i'm the account holder this is not a joint account so let me continue and i have three options i don't want to visit the bank branch or telephone the bank executive to initiate this transfer i just need to go with online banking and continue and here WISE is presenting me their local bank account in USD, right, in United States. I just need to initiate a domestic transfer of 1000 US dollars from my US bank account to WISE US bank account, right? I will not be sending out money directly to the uh, recipient's Indian bank account. I will be sending this money to the WISE local bank account and then WISE will be releasing funds in INR, as my recipient is Indian, from WISE local Indian bank account to 
my recipient's local bank account. In other words, my payment will not be crossing the borders. Now I will do this right now. So I just need to keep a note of all these account details and issue thousand dollars payment to wise uh, you know local bank account and click on this i will do this right now and now it's showing sending your money on its way to us once you initiate the transfer to wise us bank account right it says we have received your usd and once it has processed this usd and uh, sent out the money to john duo from india once he receives your money, then the status will be progressed completely. One really good feature that I like with WISE is that they have a payment tracking link that you can share with your recipient so that your recipient can track the status of the payment. And as well as TransferWISE or WISE sends you timely notifications when funds reach them or when funds reach the recipient's bank account. That's pretty good. Again, guys, feel free to make use of my referral link below. It will not cost you any extra money, but you will be able to save TransferWise fee on your first 500 USD transfers. If you're interested in more videos like this, refer the videos here. Don't forget to like this video if you've liked and don't forget to subscribe and I'm out.